Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm talk about gear. Specifically, this is the Pentax Spot Meter. I think it's a Spot Meter 5. What does it say? I think it's a, yeah, it's a Spot, spot Meter V. For, I think it means for 5. And Pentax made these and the beauty of this is these aren't terribly expensive. I bet you can find one of these under a hundred bucks. This one was actually given to me. But what you do with it is I can look across the room and there's a little bit of light coming off of one of my lamps. And I can look and I can put a tiny circle just on that one little spot and I can get a meter reading of just that spot. And I can do a meter reading of just the chair or just the window. And I can see well, what are the exposures in here and each one of those will give me a different reading. And if you were photographing somebody and they were 20 feet away, you could photograph after you meter exactly what their face is. And that's a great little handy device, especially if you're like a landscape person. If you're photographing and you're wondering what the trees are that are backlit across the lake, what is their, what would be the ideal exposure for them? Well, if you had a spot meter, you could meter a spot across that lake because you could see exactly just that spot. I don't want to meter the sky and the lake and the trees. I just want to meter the trees. A spot meter helps you do that. Like I said, this one came into my possession and it's one of those things that I'll probably teach when I use, I'll probably use when I teach nature photography because I can show people how they can use something like this. But this is a great handy device. Again, every time you use any kind of a light metering tool, you're learning how light works and you're getting used to, oh, that's that, that's what that is. Oh, that, oh yeah, right, that. You know, you're constantly seeing the same exposure values show up. When you're shooting outside backlit, you're starting to notice it's always in that same range because light doesn't change all that much from year to year. The same light that we've had for the last 100 years is the same light. And this helps you to read specific areas. And if you point it at something and it's a medium gray type thing, that's what this is. This is a medium gray instrument. Whatever you point it at, it's saying if that were a gray object, this is what I would say you should expose for. And then if somebody says, well, what's the sky say? And you point it at the sky and you want to create the sky, but the sky is brighter than what the landscape looks like and it should be brighter in the photograph then you need to overexpose a little bit because what will happen is you'll point it at the sky and say oh there's the exposure well that's the exposure for the sky if the sky were gray but it's not gray it's bright and sunny say and the bright clouds and big bright white clouds so then you have to overexpose a little bit and say okay I understand what this sees when it reads gray I always think of two stops to three stops based on how bright something is, is how far you have to go from the reading. Because meters read medium gray. Meters assume everything is black to white, and if you mix them all together, you'll get a gray. So if you're saying, well, I'm going to meter the sky, and it says, hmm, that's one exposure. I'm going to meter the trees, and that says one exposure. And they're two stops apart. Well, shoot for the trees, because the sky should be two stops apart. The, tree, the, the trees are darker than the sky, and the trees are maybe closer to medium gray than what the sky is. All meters meter medium gray. That's why if you photograph somebody sitting in front of a window, and there's a bright light coming in, and it's, oh, it, it's making your camera think there's a lot of light in that shot, it'll make your person's face dark, because it doesn't know that there's a person, and it's not taking into account their face, it's taking into account the window. And the window is saying, look how bright we are. But it's not that bright. The person is sitting in the shadow. Lighting is so important. Lighting is all we shoot. We don't photograph stuff. We photograph the light on stuff. If you're looking for a good spot meter, a lot of people like the OM3 and the OM4 Olympus because it had a built-in spot meter. You can get that and use it with any camera. And they're pretty easily and readily available. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, please hit the Patreon button, and thanks so much for watching. We'll talk photography again tomorrow.